Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our modded series. So the drought has actually just finished over here and we are pretty much ready to start expanding our production zones in here. So what I've quickly done, a few more storages in here just to get all this metal stored up and once we are ready to build the additional infrastructure then we can start doing some metal uh, straight away. Right, so... As soon as this area turns green, which should happen very soon, we'll plop down some more farmlands in here as well. Okay, so this road can go through. I think maybe one could go, I don't know, maybe up from here somewhere. And we'll cut straight through. Uh, we can move this road a little bit. Hmm. Let's see, how can we do it? You could go, I guess, something like so. Oh, you can't quite go through there. Okay, that's fine. Let's try something like this for now. And up uh, here. Okay, right about there. I think we're just gonna demolish those trees or deconstruct them in a way. Because we have 600 in storage already. So with the logs, we should be pretty, pretty much sorted. I do want to get rid of all these plants in this area. And actually some of those trees as well. And uh, yeah, let's, let's do it there. Let's do it the same on this side as well. Okay, here we go. We did quickly construct another builder's hut in here because we had some spare beavers. And uh, yeah, we just really want to start getting some things ready a little bit quicker. Okay, and to give them a bit more access and uh, hopefully quicker build times, we put a couple of stairs in here as well so they can just skip ahead when, uh, when the time is right. Okay, uh, where is the water? Is it... Or is it not? Okay, so I guess this section is still filling up. That's alright. We'll uh, speed up the time real quick. And let's jump into this section here. We've got one beaver doing this. Oh, I do know what else we need. We are going to need a hauling post somewhere as well. Let's uh, stick you, I guess, somewhere here. It's quite important. Uh, slightly high priority. Please focus on that first. And to start constructing up here... Uh, well, we are going to need to clear this up a little bit more. So maybe maybe a few more flags. Uh, let's see, one here. How do you want to do this? Okay, so we are producing just a little bit of blanks in here. And there's a quite a quite a healthy stockpile already, which is decent. But we also want to do a little bit more and start doing some gears as well. So a few options. Let's see, where shall we do it? Okay, so these levies are going to go right about here. Okay, so that's good. Now this leaves us with... This ground is a little bit uneven for now. So as a quick fix, let's see. Are you empty? You're not empty. Okay, that's okay. Uh, power, wood, let's see. Gear workshop. Yeah, that's the one we need. So, ooh, there's a little bit of extra space. I think I know what we could do. But let's change the roads around a little bit. Ah, oh, wait a second. Almost forgot. So this is farming. This is the production area. Yeah. Let's uh, let's not forget that. Okay. So you're gonna go through there. Oh. Okay. We can go a little further, I think. Uh, let's check again. Right. So this is about the furthest we can go. What we could do is let's uh, just demolish this area a little bit. And the forest there is gonna go right on this corner here. Or maybe one further. Uh, let's do one further. Yep. So here's... Oh, nice. The water's flowing in now. Beautiful. Fantastic. Okay. So next thing. Since we do have this water pump in here, I was also thinking, well, how about we put a little floodgate right about here if they... Oh, they might not be able to... Con oh, actually, no. They can construct it. Right. So when the drought ends, we want to drop the height to zero. And when the drought starts, oh, we want to bring it up to one to keep all this water on that side, well, as much as we can. Cool. Now, I've spotted there's a few. I know I'm getting uh, distracted too quickly, I think. Um, I'd say right around this area, we want to create a bit of a nicer zone for our beavers. So, to do this... Let me have a quick play around, and as soon as I've got a nice layout, we'll jump back. Okay, here we go. So we've got, uh, what is it? 
four of those campfires just to make sure that everyone has a bit of space to come and uh, hang out in this area. Now, what I do want to do is we've, we've got a grill here as well and also an aquatic farm. So what I'd like to do, uh, once we get rid of these two uh, birch trees over there, I'd like to start planting more chestnut trees in this zone. Uh, uh, right about so. Okay, here we go. This little road here is a little bit re redundant and it's not in the in the place where we want it to be. So that's going to change very quickly as well. Let's see if we can do it something like so. And what I'm also thinking, maybe I'd like to give them a slightly different access. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we could do... I'd like the those canals to stay exposed, but at the same time, if we have aquatic farm farmhouse here, where are we going to produce? Actually, do you know what? Let's leave it for a little bit later. I'll uh, leave us a tiny little option here to um, to put a road in here. But uh, what we are going to need is a forest there. Forest there, right about there. And I think we'd like to change those trees around as well. So all of you, we're not going to plant anymore. And it would be lovely if this road goes through. Maybe, maybe right about there. Okay. Yep, there we go. And let's see, we are cutting down. I think we can remove, yep, those zones. Okay, there we go. That zone is looking a lot nicer now as well, if I'm not mistaken, to get those, uh, what were they called, chestnuts, we are going to need our gatherers. Flag right about, oh, you can't quite, oh, that's because there's no road. So yeah, we are going to have to, hmm, what if we change this just for the time being? How about something like this? Yep, that looks a little bit better. And the second... Hmm. Campfire could be right about there. Yep, that looks a whole lot better. There we go. And let's um, start putting some chestnut trees in here as well. Okay, there we go. Actually, do you know what? We'll leave you be for, for a little while. And we'll, we'll come back to you. Okay, production zones. We are going to need electricity, so I'd like to, yeah, clear up this mountain. All these levels, I uh, don't want to touch the ruins, I want to collect them all. Okay, how much space do we still have? Oh, tons of space, okay. So that's good. Let's connect you guys up with the roads as well. And hopefully they have a little bit of a, a longer range. I think you can stay here for the time being. Whereas all these other sections in here would be lovely if we can get them out. Oh, a little bit more. Nope, that's not quite what we wanted. Uh, yeah, they can reach these areas. Okay, so that's fine. Plenty of access now. Do we have spare beavers? Not really. However, let's put a few more of these flanks. So this area is becoming pretty nice and tidy. Food, oh, still pretty low. More carrots in here. That stuff is growing there, and you two... Okay, plenty of things. What is your focus? Potatoes, and you do everything. Okay, so that's fine. It will just take the closest plants. Let's do it three times the speed, so we don't have to quite pause during the night. And I think we have enough sunflowers now as well. Are you full? No, you're not. And uh, these are done. So they should start harvesting them over there. Uh, maybe... Oh, wait a second. We are out of stock. Yeah, that's that's no good. And you're still gathering those berries. Yeah, I guess it's a little embarrassing that we're still struggling with food. Even at, at this stage of the game. Okay. Uh, we're gonna need some more farms. Not the trees, but we need food. Uh, for you, maples, yep, yeah, have a few more. And we'll probably need a gather a flag somewhere around here as well. Okay, let's leave you for a second. Let's uh, keep an eye on those farms. I'm a, I'm a little bit worried about the food. Yeah, I'll be honest. Okay, but I'm sure we can fix this up rather quickly. A few more of you, and it would also be useful to have another farm somewhere here. Okay, do you know what? Let's uh, 
Let's get rid of those trees. They're in our way. We've, we've got plenty of maples. And maybe we'll give you a slightly higher priority as well. So it gets done instantly. Well, almost instantly. Okay, next up, uh, next step will be to increase our water intake as well. Our drought is also starting very soon. Well, great. Okay. Not to panic. We'll be fine. Uh, let's... Uh, plant even more potatoes here yeah i think we'll go uh, into into bread very shortly as well let's just connect a couple of roads you can go through there maybe go up from here and okay pretty good range actually that's uh that's not bad at all let's not delete the ruins please okay here we go and take all this out as well Oh, it ends about there. Oh, hold on a second. There we go. That's actually not too bad. Let's uh, stick you right in there. Okay, good. You, let's go planting and everything that's closest to you. Uh, with this other road in here. Oh, that's not very useful right now. Because we don't have water in here. So that's okay. We'll add some more beavers. And okay. Food 100. Water still low. I think food... With food, we can probably leave this run for a little while. I do, however, want to block this in like so. Uh, I just don't want any of those trees starting to grow and block this area even further, especially after we've, we've just tidied this up and we'll probably do the same with these trees as well. Okay, looking good. Let's focus on the water now since uh, food should be starting to go up very quickly. Now... Um, what I'm thinking to do here is find the middle point right about there, I think. At these higher levels. So this is going to be kind of like a synchronized. Since we do have that ability. We need a large water tank. We still have enough points, so that's good. Alright, one over there, one over here. Matches up pretty, uh, pretty nicely. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, spin it around just a little bit. But now this looks a little funky here. Nope, that's not good. Let's go back to the original plan. Uh, yeah, sometimes it just takes a, takes a couple of tries to get to the right design that we want. Which is okay. There we go. And now it's not going to look uh, all funky with the, with the stairs. And uh, okay, so step down from right about here. And I think with the water pumps... We can start doing something like so. So you're going to have to go this way. Spin you around. A couple more in here. And these will be operational. Oh, they can't quite reach them, can they? Hmm. Do you know what? How about... Let's see. Up till here. Try and focus building these walls up. Right. So that's good. Now... What I'd also like to do is, um, two here will not be enough. Because um, we are going to move these over as well. We'll definitely expand it a little further and we've got plenty of space in here. What I'm also thinking, right about here, actually, let's put the design I want in place first. And we can, uh, uh, we don't have the, <laughs> the tool or the mod to pause everything. Uh, that's okay. So... We'll just make it a slowest or lowest priority. Here we go. That goes there. This one can probably be paused. And what this means now is that when it's not droughts, I think you'll have to go right about there. Okay. We're going to have a couple of pumps somewhere here. Spin you around and perfect. Okay, there we go. I do want to dynamite this way down a little bit later. So, but we don't have dynamites, obviously, right now. I think we can still... Mm, do we need it now? Yes, kind of. So essentially, when it's rainy season, these pumps will stop working because they're flooded. So that uh, relieves all those beavers from their duties. And they will go up to, up to these upper ones in here. I mean, of course, we could... Um, you know, do it with this mod now as well. Pause and unpause when the uh, drought ends. Yeah, so with the upper ones, what we can do is uh, pause when the drought starts. 
and on bores when the uh, drought ends for the both of them as well okay here we go uh so hopefully our six construction beavers will focus on that and now we can quickly check on the food as well what's happening here okay you're focusing on carrots what are you doing you got carrots as well what about sunflowers none in storage but i also think yeah maybe we do a few more beavers in here i don't think don't get me wrong, it's not like we need all of them here, but I just uh, just want to have it done and sorted. Is there something here, or why can't I... Oh, we can't build it. Okay, here we go. Just an extra farm. We can always pause it. At least it's there when we need it. And it seems you've also uh, done all... Or taken out all the birch trees, but there's still a few more. I would like all of them to be gone as well and then what this means is we can grab all these chestnut trees once this is all built up i believe we can just take out the forester from here but for the time being let's just leave it until we're 100 percent sure that everything is complete let's just fill those sections as well and you know what we already know what's going to be here uh, you can go we'll leave the platform because that's not really in our way and a few more chestnut trees there. Okay, beautiful. We could do the same in here as well. If we wanted even more, actually, I remember one thing. We are gonna have to put this flag down somewhere here. So if you go, what's the range now? Okay, it goes a little further up. So let's put one right about there. Would be lovely, actually, to bring it a little bit closer, but that's okay. It will do for now. We don't quite have to man the station until the trees are ready, but it's uh, it's it's good. It's uh, logistically we're we're where we need to be. Okay, even though we do want to have this production zone here, I think just for the time being we could do it right about here. So power wheel, you could power maybe a couple, pause and road through like so this now leaves us a bit of space to put a couple of um, small warehouses here as well let's do two of them okay you're starting to fill up as well so i think we are gonna have to start um, doing some metal very very soon all right so our food problems uh, should be pretty much solved now since we have uh, 460 in this stockpile and yeah, we've got some sunflower seeds, grilled potatoes, carrots and berries as well. I think this means we can free you up and let you go and work somewhere else. Also, whilst uh, we've been letting the game run, I did miss that the trout had already started. We're uh, halfway through it and this section is coming along pretty, uh, pretty nicely as well. So if we bring it up real quick. Uh, we can't quite do the large water tanks just yet because we're not producing any gears. However, it seems half the platforms are already done and they could... <laughs> Let's give these two a slightly higher priority. Okay, I've also queued up uh, two more houses, one of which has been built it seems. And maybe you should do this first as well. Yeah, definitely like to start having a lot more beavers in here. Uh, so that way we can have more in this production zone that we are slowly starting to build up but before that yeah water is definitely very important to uh, get under control and what are you guys saying oh okay there is still uh, this section here that's why so we've given them the highest priority now and as soon as that is done yep then we'll have access so let's uh, give those beavers a couple more minutes and we'll take a quick look here as well. All right, so that section is done. We can link you up a little bit. Uh, I know there's a lot of roads that perhaps there are not as necessary. I mean, this one's probably going to go in the future. We can just use this as a as the main main gateway. Now let's take a look. What's your range? Uh, right about here. Okay, but you know what? Let's uh, just do a ton of chestnut trees right about there could maybe even no let's not create another road we could do a platform here and another gatherer flag could be a solution and then half those trees could also be chestnuts okay a few more trees for you to plant 
that should be fine you know what let's put some more it's fine if we have some extra ones here it's uh, not gonna disturb us so yeah it doesn't look like much just yet but as soon as those trees grow a little bit bigger then it's uh, it's gonna be like a nice little nature retreat and it would actually also been very would have been very lovely if we had some uh, some areas for the beavers to pray as well so if you go into well-being yeah we could have done a couple of shrines i mean we could also put them on platforms and right behind here could be kind of interesting okay and well-being let's uh, grab a shrine oh you take 20 logs oh yeah uh, a little ridiculous but that's fine that's okay we're not complaining uh, power i think it's going to be next one after water how are we doing? Are we almost linked up? Yes, this is the last of the levees, uh, which is almost complete as well. Well-being seems to be pretty low still. Yeah, let's leave the this production for a little bit later. That's okay. How about, can we free up a bit more? Okay, so this could be wheat mm, in this section here. It can be, most certainly. Okay, but that means we are going to have to demolish this zone a little bit. Okay, that seems to be okay. But maybe a few more, right about so. We'll leave the trees that are along the riverbank here. It just makes it a little bit nicer. And I do feel that in the future, I'll probably rearrange them a little bit. I want the farms to be a bit more further out here. And then production, I, I guess somewhere here, will be, will be perfect. There's just too many construction tasks for the beavers right now. And we don't have enough growing up. Right? Yeah. You should be paused. Uh, I'll pause it for now. It's, uh, it probably didn't pause because we were already in the trout, so... I guess the trigger didn't happen. But yeah, we'll leave it paused. It will unpause itself once the drought is over in three days. And let's jump back into the food. I guess another thing we could do... If we check the recipes in here, you need grilled potatoes, grilled chestnuts is what we're doing here. You could also do a grilled spatter dog, I, I suppose. But does that need flour? I don't quite remember. But the only way to find out is... Let's uh, let's do it here. Right, uh, spatter dog. This one. Right, bring it up till here. Is that the range? No, we can go a little bit further. Okay, that's a couple of plants, which is uh, lovely. They could even cross over. Okay, how's that going to affect us? Ooh, it gives us a, a little bit more space here. And that means we can definitely plant some more. They are getting this uh, set of stairs done, then how about you as well? I think one beaver should be enough in there. So let's, uh, let's do it that way. Uh, slightly higher priority. Okay, off you go. And how are things coming along here? Are they even able to reach that far? No, they are not. Okay, so that's uh, that's not very helpful, is it? No. Then, how about... I don't really have big plans for this zone here. You've got a little bit of range. Okay. Good. Do it like so. I think you can go. Right. And a bit more wheat in here. And you guys... Not potatoes, wheat. There we go. Stop planting. Uh, they can do a little bit. Not the last two in here. That's fine. And that's going to take a little bit of time as well before we can actually run those bakeries, right? Yeah, the crisp mills are also going to need some electricity. Oh, there goes the water. Do we bump it up from somewhere? No, this is not operational. Or maybe the trout was like 11 days or so. So we lost a level of water. What I yeah, definitely have to do is dynamite just one block in each corner or so, or every X amount of tiles. To make it easy, I guess we could do in each corner. Once you get dynamites, we're going to need, let's see. Oh yeah, metal first. Okay, let's see. What are you going to take? Gears, which is here. Beavers going up. <sighs> okay, I think it's going to take a little bit of time. And these plants are going to mm, expire very quickly. Uh, sunflower seeds. Let's um, stockpile this one. So I have a feeling... Oh, you're not full. Well, never mind. I thought maybe the farms are full, so they haven't quite managed to uh, harvest everything. But no, 
We didn't get to reach the production or the woodworks, uh, the forestry area over here, but the food side of things is going, well, I guess a little bit better. What we'll also do is set up, a, I know I keep saying this all the time, but like a small temporary metal slash, uh, what else, dynamites. Yeah, we're just going to need a little bit of some resources. We'll um, have a healthy stockpile. And then we can start, um, you know, expanding into other areas. And uh, we'll eventually get rid of this, this zone in here as well. What are you guys up to? Okay, nothing because it's full. Uh, I guess we're going to need another storage right about here. That should help them out. Okay, you're going to be paused for the time being. We'll get the other ones built. Drought ended... Oh, that's good timing. And that stuff over here seems to be going pretty well as well. They are going to overflow soon. Or flood, I mean. And that's when they will stop working. Oh, 14 workplaces that are still available. Do have enough houses, right? Yes, yeah, six baby beavers as well. And, um, well, maybe we do a few more houses. What could also be useful if we had some more water tanks. And it would be much nicer if we had those bigger ones built, but gears is what we need. Okay, one is built. Uh, you are going to have to be paused. Oh, we don't even have enough beavers, so we've lost a few logs as well. Oh, because we've constructed quite a few things. Okay, here we go. Everything's becoming fertile again. And yeah, food is okay, so water we need. That's being expanded. Okay, let's uh, let's risk it. I don't like how we don't have too much water in the storage just yet. However, I'm sure we can quickly fix that in the future. Yeah, let's do it that way. So get these houses built as well. Slightly higher priority. That's all being planted. Amazing. Two more, one more. What are you guys up to now? Doing carrots. Okay, this workplace, no. Okay, these have a higher priority, right? And this one doesn't, so that's uh, that's about right. Once we get more beavers, I mean, uh, 16, 18 workplaces, it keeps jumping all the time. I think it's because of flooding in here. Yep, that seems right. So, are you guys building these ones as well? Not yet. Okay, good. What I'd like to change is, let's give you a tiny bit higher priority. So they get this uh, damn wall done a little bit, little bit earlier than, yeah, the water pumps. Because we do want to store a bit more water here, if we can, of course. Okay, so food, we're happy. These are all built. Beavers, we're lacking. Beavers is being fixed. Beautiful. Uh, Spatatok is going in as well. We're just going to need a grill in here. And because it takes quite some time, we can pause you for the trees to grow. We could use this grill for the Spatatok instead. Yes, we can. Okay, they're building this one already as well. How many days does it take for one of those? 12. Okay, that's a long time. That's a very long time. Hmm. We could focus uh, this one purely on Spatatok, can't we? I think we can. We'll change it around a little bit later if we have to. Okay, there we go. Much better. What's the range on you guys? Okay, you can go pretty far out, actually. I am thinking, yep, yeah, water's probably going to be our next problem. And we're not going to get dynamites anytime soon. But we are going to need water rather quickly. Right, so at least in this episode we've fixed one of the problems, which was the food. There's going to be loads and tons of food coming in very soon, actually. Do you know what? I don't think we need you guys in here just now. We've got a temporary section here for gears as well. And uh, hopefully we shall start having some soon. Oh, uh, we're going to need blanks too. Okay, fine. We'll... um increase the blank production as well and i'm really hoping that in the next episode let's uh, try and focus on producing uh, blank gears and all that maybe some well definitely some explosives and metal metals as well and then uh, expand more into this zone maybe a temporary district center somewhere there just to plan it out a little bit all right so that's a solid episode right here everything's going pretty well yep we've got another tank in there as well so yeah Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again in the next episode.